This is Green Science Potato Clock, and the maker claims now you can be a scientist as you discover how to power a digital clock using potatoes. Also, experiment to find out what other substances will power this clock. We think you'll be amazed. The potato clock allows you to generate enough electricity to run this digital clock using just these potatoes. Simply push the zinc and copper electrodes into the potato, and it's causing an oxidation reduction reaction that is then converted to low voltage. Is it really possible for the food that brings us delicious french fries to also power small appliances? Time to find out. This science experiment can really work. We've come to Johnson College in Scranton. Colin McKenna is the program director for electrical construction technology. He's giving us a hand with this week's test. McKenna has taken the time to find out if two potatoes can really provide enough voltage to power this potato clock. And guess what? They can. But as he explains, it's not what most people think. You're really just utilizing the difference between copper and zinc. Uh, zinc is always going to be your, uh, your anode, copper is your cathode. And that copper is going to want to pull electrons from that, uh, from that zinc. The acid level in the fruit or veggie can also determine how strong or weak the voltage will be. As you can see, McKenna went way beyond just potatoes. He tried the digital clock on numerous fruits and veggies. Once he got a reading, he ranked them on which he thought had the best electrical current and which ones lasted the longest. I'm going to say lemon, apple, potato. So this, these lemons? sweet, the sweet potato was terrible in comparison to the actual potato. I couldn't believe that. The potato clock can also be powered by soda. Yes, soda. Actually, the soda did the best, believe it or not. Most voltage of all the items. This is a really cool experiment you can do at home or at school. We've included directions on our website where you can buy the kit or purchase the items individually at your local hardware store. Also, you can use older fruit and veggies that may be ready to be discarded, but give them one last use. We really like this kit for 10 bucks. We give it thumbs up. Good luck, and if you have some of these experiments, please send us some photos. Kurt Aaron, Newswatch 16.